are two stories that must be told. First, an ancient boat, and then the recent history of a nation that has sunk deep into the sands of time. In AD 70, Israel was under Roman control, but the Romans did not occupy this land easily. The Jews offered rebellion and resistance at every turn. We have military men from the Roman side, from the Jewish side, going out onto the lake, but it's all being done uh, in very small vessels, and the end result was pretty disastrous for the Jews on the losing side. crushed and Israel disappeared. The Jewish state lost the Holy Temple, lost its identity. The Bible is the only document on the face of the planet that says that Israel will be the country that everyone is looking to at the end of history. And you know, a lot of skeptics said for thousands of years, oh come on, how could Israel be the, the epicenter of human history at the end of time? Uh, because it didn't even exist. At the end of uh, the Second World War, the Jews, they come out of concentration camps with no place to go, and they, they go back to, to Israel by, by the boatload. Every one of us thought that we are fighting for the very existence of a Jewish state in the Middle East. It was a process that drew in world sympathy at the time. Uh, Great Britain, France, were major players in Israel becoming a state. It's going to be deemed one of the most significant events in world history. The idea that the be this reestablishment of the state of Israel, which the prophets talked about 4,000 years ago. Bible prophecies are being fulfilled there every day, every week. The world is focused once again on Israel. A nation reborn. And then, against all odds, after 2,000 years, a first century boat reappeared in the muddy shores of the Sea of Galilee. I don't think there is any coincidence here in any of the timing that happened with the boat. And it's a boat of 2,000 years. It had a long time to be discovered. And on my desk, there was a note saying a boat, possibly ancient, was found in the Sea of Galilee. I said, no chance uh, you will find an ancient boat at the Sea of Galilee. Fresh water, a lot of bacterial activity. The chances are completely nothing. We start digging, and slowly, slowly, we got the shape of a ship. I said, well, believe it, it's ancient, it's ship. And then came out this cooking pot and its oil lamp, and we were straight away recognized as this first century. We got here boat from the times of Jesus. It is a, re a miracle by itself. After archaeological looked for years and years and years and couldn't find anything, two simple fishermen finding a boat in a one in a million chance, that's a big miracle. The moment that the brothers and Professor Shelley Waxman touch the boat, heavy rain, Pouring came from the sky after four years of drought. We couldn't even water our gardens or wash our cars because it was forbidden by law because there was not enough drinking water. And the rain continued and continued. And then Professor Shelley Waxman thought, I have to do something and walk to the water and pray to God, ask permission to touch the boat. Unbelievable happening. No rain, and a beautiful double rainbow appear in the sky. From that moment, it was this blessing from the sky, this double rainbow, like in the Bible. <laughs> they looked at each other's eyes and said, wow, isn't this magic? First time they talked about it, I was laughing. I said, OK, it's the Sea of Gali. Occasionally, there are rainbows around there. Later, when the, this rainbow kept uh, pumping on every critical uh, a uh, moment we had with this boat, uh, I start to believe in it too. From day one, there were so many obstacles, so many dramas. It didn't matter because everybody finally believed that it's going to work. It's the oldest boat found in fresh water in the world. What I would call a holy grail, not 
the Holy Grail, but a Holy Grail shipwreck. And here the whole thing resurrected itself after 2,000 years out, comes out of its grave, its watery grave, and it floats again over the Sea of Galilee, uh, like 2,000 years ago. I mean, that's magic. 2,000 years ago, when we talked about Jesus being on the Sea of Galilee in a boat, that these were the boats. This boat was buried around the time of the loss of the temple and of a Jewish being. And then now only with the foundation of the state of Israel, you find this, this incredible artifact, this incredible Kleegelite on our past, both Christian and Jewish past. Um, I think it is a remarkable thing now. There is no coincidence in this story that it's all miracles and it's all by God. Two stories, both from the shores of Galilee, both true stories that began so long ago, but are still being told today.